What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome to Ooh La La Idol Adventure, a brand new idol game that came out a few days ago. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started here on this late evening down here in Austin, Texas. FG, where you been? This game came out a couple of days ago. Well, I'll tell you where I've been. I've been leveling. What you been doing? As you guys can see, FG's ahead of 88% of all ooh la la idle adventure player so you're probably a part of this 88 percent of players that fg 3000 longed and pooped on pro gamer fg nobody idols quite like me ladies and gentlemen well i guess the 12 percent of people that are ahead of me probably idle a little bit better but don't worry about that let's get to the video so here, here we are idle adventure ooh la la style ladies and gentlemen so the claim to fame to this game is basically the fact that this game is a co-op idle game I played lots of idle games on mobile and not a single one has co-op so ingrained in its everyday gameplay quite like ooh la la idle adventure ladies and gentlemen so let's just kind of take it from the top and kind of the main reason before we kind of jump into gameplay the re main reason why I didn't post a video on day one day two day three heck day four um, is mostly because you don't really unlock a lot of gameplay mode so you kind of have to be patient with this game if you're looking for like just a, a, a bevy of different gameplay modes and different types of things to do outside of the camp pain little trail here it's not gonna happen for a while so be patient idle that's the whole name of the game and you will slowly unlock a few different things that are kind of interesting so let us take it from the top as my team just gets destroyed by this dragon here but don't worry we're back in action so idle co-op game as you guys can see this is my team party over here i'm online obviously that's why i'm green he's online as well that's why it's green these guys are grayed out but these are all real player characters so you might actually see me this character right here walking around idling right alongside with you that's actually the coolest part about this game knowing that everybody that you're playing with is an actual player and they're actually playing their own account collecting uh pets and things of that nature and at any time you can go to my team you can see their levels you can see if they're online or offline you can see their pets very very cool like i said this game is all about co-op co-op all the time now if you don't have anyone in your party the game will assign like some npc companions but they're whack they're terrible they're not, they're not powerful you don't want them you always 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 want to be in a party and there are two different types of parties in this game and all you got to do is go over here to the notice board so there's two different types there's idle party so this is the type of party that you'll join when you're about to go to bed for the night and you just want to idle um, you're not going to be upgrading your character you're not going to be um, uh, assigning skill points equipping gear this is just for people that are like hey I ain't gonna be here for a while. I wanna join a party and just idle all night. Um, then you have the adventurous one, and this is more for people that are actually online and being more active. These are people that are actively pushing their power up, they're upgrading their gear, they're swapping out stuff, they're collecting new pets, etc., etc. And you can basically decide which type of team that you want to join. And it's quite easy to make a team, um, set up who you want to join, what type of classes that you're looking for. Very easy uh, uh, interface when it comes to, um, putting, to, to uh, putting together a team. Oh, wow. Look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> so uh, there you have it. So you just this is like I said, this is the idle combat screen right here. So this is kind of like when you look at all other idle games, this is the combat. Um, so let's kind of jump over and I'll show you some different aspects of the game. Um, but the only other thing here on this screen that you really kind of need to concern yourself with is the stage that you're on. This kind of dictates what else you can do in the game um, because ga uh, other gameplay modes are going to ask you to hit a certain milestone. Um, so this is where you kind of have to see, OK, um, something's going to say you need to be on stage 55 of the Chihuahua Gorge. So you got to make sure you're there before you can actually do that. But um, that's not going to really come into play in this video. And then, of course, this will show you how much EXP you're earning and how many stones you're earning as well. So kind of the coolest part, in my opinion, in this game is the pet system. So you have your character, right? So I have my little cool little warlock, and I'll show you more about her. Um, but you can also, as you're kind of looting things in here, you'll get different types of meat, uh, fruit, things of that nature. And then you can use that meat and fruit to capture pets. So let's see who I can get right now. <laughs> see if I get anybody good. This is not the gotcha. This is like an in-game uh, pet acquiring system. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a bunch of green pets here. I'm looking for some like legendary stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, it's just a blue. Rip. Let's see what's in this one. Another green pet. Rip. Nothing good there. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, 
And this is, like I said, this is some of the gameplay modes that unlock a little bit later. Um, you're not really going to be able to take take part of this on day one. Day two, you will be able to kind of play with this pet system a little bit. Um, but as you guys can see, I have tons of different foods here that can, uh, that can attract different types of pets. Um, I can also go over here to my main little hut over here and cook food as well, um, as long as I have the recipe and as long as I have the uh, right ingredients to make said thing, ladies and gentlemen. So that's kind of how that works. So if we go back over here, we're gonna go back over here to our pet, um, click capture, add some food, hit that, and then here in about two hours, or if I want to accelerate it, which I, uh, yeah, for the sake of the video, I will. <laughs> um, come back and then boom. There you go, you got a bunch of pets that you can have there. And then probably what you're gonna do for most of these pets that are just kind of low tier, you're just gonna go ahead, and they all look pretty cool, by the way. I, I like the design on these pets here. I'm just gonna get rid of all my greens and my blues. Um, that's gonna give you a little bit of currency here, and this currency can be used to upgrade the uh, skill power of your current pet. So these are the pets that I'm kind of keeping right now, keeping this cool little uh, frost bird here, this fire and lightning. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. And this cool little warthog, look at that. He's, uh, I think he's like earth and lightning, uh, frost, frost, frost and uh, earth right there. So there you go. So that, that's the pet system. So while you're over here leveling up, you're getting loot, you're collecting brand new pets, you're getting loot for your actual character itself. So right now I have an upgrade and there's tons of great quality of life here. So right here when it's red and it shows a t-shirt that lets you know that you can swap out to a better piece of gear. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have to put down my legendary and go to freaking epic, but this epic is stronger. It is stronger, so I'll, I'll go ahead and move on over. Um, same thing here. Here's another little quality of life. Um, this shows you that you can upgrade this little piece here. So I can go to enchant, hit enchant. Thank you very much. Very good production value in this game also. And boom, I just increased the power of my wand. And then if I don't really want to kind of watch the animation, I can just go ham like that. So there you have it. Now I can kind of look at this at a glance and see, all right, my character is completely leveled up and good to go. Um, there's also skills here as well, um, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so just because you're a warlock and I'm a warlock, we might be using a totally different set of skills here. So let's say, for example, I want to switch out this summon violent frog and I want to use this right here, quack, quack, quack. I can swap it out and boom, I have a different skill set than another warlock would might have. Um, and then here at level 30, I'll unlock four different skill slots that I can have here, um, all with different abilities. Um, you can also unlock different abilities in the gotcha here. Um, so let's go ahead and do a gotcha really quick. Here is the skill chest. So while you're playing the game, it's gonna give you little tickets that you can use to unlock different types of skills here. So I got another uh, violent frog there. It's green, uh, so I'm not really too worried about it. Skip the animations here. I got a blue. Looking for something good. I got a purple something. We'll take a look at them here in a second. Got some more greens. Let's see, more green violent frogs. More quack, quack, quacks. I don't know why it says quack, 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 because it's clearly a frog in that picture. I don't know what's going on. And I got another blue one right there. All right. So we're moving on up in the world. So we'll go back over here to our character. Um, you also have, <laughs> I always feel like every single time a game has one of these, I screw it up. And I'm probably screwing up my character right now. But you actually have points that you have to allocate every single time you level. Intelligence, stamina, and tech. Right now, I'm going to start pouring more points into my stamina. I've been really neglecting that. I went all, all ham and intelligence. Um, so that's that. Every few um, bunches of level, you will transcend your character, which makes them more powerful and gives them uh, additional talents and etc. Um, my, I've already done two transcendents. The first transcendent, I did look a little different. Now I don't. I, I didn't. Tra I didn't like change my look on my second transcendent. So hopefully it happens again where I can get a better and cooler look. Um, the stronger that I get. Um, so I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna switch out quack 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 um, with whatever this thing is. Soul seal. Um, so applies bonus soul seal to enemy. Each layer of soul seal causes damage. Every two sucks like uh, damage over time and it can stack. Boom, I like it. And when people die, it passes on to them. Very, very nice. Um, and then I can take some of this crappy skills here, all this gray stuff, this green stuff, all this. I can get rid of all that. Oh, well, oh, don't be trying to slip through. Get rid of all that, pump up my little skill there and make it even a stronger. So that's kind of like what you're gonna be doing with your character here. Um, collecting gear, upgrading your skills, 
um, applying uh, different types of skill uh, stat points as you level and then transcend once you hit those milestones um, there's still more to unlock there's a thing called a clatter cart I don't know what that is toy box don't know uh, this coast right here level 45 don't know <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff um, that you need to kind of unlock as you level along so this is what I was telling you guys earlier um, be patient with this game um, you're not gonna unlock everything very soon uh, unfortunately um, right now, this is just kind of like a codex for all of the pets. Um, as you guys can see, there are 185 pets in this game, and I cannot wait to collect them. Um, so that's that. Let's go back over here to the home screen. So we talked about the skill chest. Storage is just where you store things. Not that big of a deal. Uh, once you build up a bunch of this gear that you're just kind of looting for no reason, you can instantly just hit this uh, smelt button right there and get rid of all of it. It looks like at level 29, there's going to be a crafting system. So that's pretty cool there. Here's all the food that I have here. Here's some of the pet stuff I have. Oh, look at this, Epic T-Rex. Hey! I, I didn't even know I had that in my inbox there. So there you go. Just hatch an Epic T-Rex there. Um, I can fuse these together. This is what I was talking about before. You fuse together normal fossils to make rare fossils, then you can use these rare fossils to add a skills to your pets. So your pets are a really big part of your power. Um, and that's all I really know about the rest of that stuff there. So that's storage. We talked about Cook. Um, this is by far, this little lady right here, she is the coolest shopkeeper in any hero collector video game on mobile. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing her a lot. And she's like, hey, mind your hand. But I'm, I'm going to keep on clicking on her. Just keep on clicking. Watch this. Hey, <laughs> okay, you're asking me terrible for me again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Best shopkeeper in any hero collector ever, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, of course, this is just a shop where you can buy things for um, different types of currency there. Talked about cook. We talked about capture. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing that I unlocked this whole four days of playing this game. Keep in mind, this is the this is the core gameplay right here. You get the pet system pretty early on. Literally, the only thing I've unlocked as far as a different type of gameplay style is this Mystic Realm. And uh, basically, it's kind of like, I don't know how to really explain it. Um, you have all these different uh, matches here. And basically what you're trying to do, you're trying to defeat all of these boss creatures in this dungeon here as you move up to this chest right up here. Um, and I don't think I'm strong enough to do so, but hey, we're going to go ahead and jump on in anyway. So we're going to summon this Lightning Fire Thrasher. Um, I do have a Frost Pet, so it's going to kind of help a little bit on the fire. And as you guys can see, you drag in your teammates. Not, not, not like uh, literally drag them in. Like if you're one of these players and you're playing on your screen, you're not going to be dragged in here. Basically, since we're all a team together, I get to use their characters to fight these bosses real quick. Um, so as long as you're in a full team of four, you can you can run these and hopefully you're in a good good enough team to actually beat these hopefully you have a nice tank some heals some dps some good pets good upgrades that type of thing uh, to kind of blow through these right now he only has two life bars left so he might be able to beat this guy we are going to see uh uh i think i think we're in good shape i think we're in good that's all because i upgraded my character you saw me <laughs> Very, very nice. All those heals looking like a beast. And you are done. Oh, he's in frenzy. Oh, no, no. Oh, you got to be joking. He went in rage right before we we're about to kill him. I cannot believe he went in freaking in rage and just destroyed us. <laughs> okay, that, that is freaking rude. But when I wake up, I should definitely be able to be powerful enough to defeat him. Because um, I'll obviously be in a nice team. They'll be leveled up, and we should be fine. Um, but that's pretty much the game. I haven't unlocked anything else. The next thing I can uh, unlock is Arena at level 35 and this Coast thing at level 45. Um, and that's all I see in the game at the moment. Um, if you click on things, there's like some coming soon stuff here. It looks like something's about to happen. Like there are other things like clickable in the world, but... I don't know. I don't know what they do. <laughs> so um, that is a pretty much the game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Ooh La La Idle Adventure. Like I said, if you are a fan of idle games, you definitely at least give it a try. If you're kind of like neutral about idle games, you know, I think it's unique enough for you to at least take a glance at and see if it kind of uh, clicks with you. Um, like I said, there's not any other games that I've seen on the market that are so ingrained when it comes to co-op. Now, if you just do not like idle games, there hasn't been a single idle game on the market that's really kind of tickled your fancy at all. Eh, 
uh, even with the co-op aspects, I still don't think it's enough to convert a person that does not like idle games. I, I just don't, yeah. That's, hey, wait a minute, look what I can do, hold on. I saw someone do something. <laughs> not what I'm looking at. Uh, look at this, I saw somebody do something, look at that. Look at that. It's a, it's a late evening down here in Austin. Oh, I can put the city too? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Was it, it should have been in alphabetical order. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I, I am like, <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy about that. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Look at me. <laughs> that is super cool. No other game has let me do stuff like that. No one else is putting their city. <laughs> Everyone's just putting their state, I think. He, yeah, he didn't put his city. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. All right, I am done, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, once again. My name is FG3000. This has been a look at Ooh La La Idle Adventure. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, 88.36% of all players overtaken by Pro FG. <laughs> Later.